Hi, this is Beth with All Array of Light. It is, it's actually Thursday the 13th now. I don't think any of these things are going to get posted, even the ones I did an hour ago <laughs> until tomorrow, <laughs> or officially to today, I guess. Um, so I wanted to do a, kind of a quick um, update reading on the Kanye West run for presidency because it's looking very much like it's getting he's getting pushed at, or at least encouraged to run in the places where he can at this point get his name on the ballot by Trump son-in-law Jared Kushner um suppose uh, it's reported that Jared Kushner and Ivanka met with uh Kanye over the weekend in Colorado and Kanye is calling Jared his boy. <laughs> That's his boy. Um, so I want kind of an update on this. What's going on with that? Um, is this becoming a more serious threat to the election and anything they want us to know just about Kanye in general? Because, you know, Kanye's got some issues. So let me listen and see what they want me to know and want us to know. Oh, yeah. So Jared is in his ear and I'm being told. Now, Kanye even said that he talks to him nearly every day and I'm being told Jared does nearly talk to him every single day. Like it's almost like Jared is manipulating him. Jared is one of the people trying to manipulate him. Jared has learned a lot <laughs> about handling a narcissist and no matter what you think about Kanye's um talent Kanye is a narcissist and a narcissist with some mental health challenges so let me listen oh yeah oh yeah Jared is in his ear Jared is Jared's working him that'd be the way you want to say it Jared's really working him and I feel like and I don't know whether there's any documentation of this but I feel like Jared has sent the people or coordinated the people or um, Jared's people have pointed the way to the people who are helping Kanye get on some ballots. Okay, hold on a second. Um, so he's going to be on some ballots and right now I'm not sh I haven't checked which ones he's on. It's not going to be all of them because I feel like he, I think maybe New Jersey already said that he had uh, bad signatures. Maybe up to four is what I'm hearing. Hold on a second. And of course he could be a ride in, but let me listen. This is actually really sad because what I, I mean, just in this, they're taking me to the Kanye piece of this. Um, Kanye is in full-blown um, delusional thinking. I am, even from when I think I read this maybe a month ago, his thinking is really out there right now. He, he is being very delusional. I think he really believes he could win. Um, hold on. It's, he's spinning so fast. Like I, I, I feel his brain. It's like spinning, 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 spinning. I think that's probably the manic. Um, hold on. He's, he's going to keep doing this for a while. Like I feel the spinning with his head. His mental health is not good right now. Um, that's a dicey thing to say because of you know, you don't want to ever diagnose anybody. Um, but as a psychic, I feel this stuff in his head and it's like, he's, it's like a spinning ever seen like old movies where they had like a spinning, um, I don't even know what it was. It was like something in hypnosis or like an old black and white movie and it's spinning and it's almost like a hypn hypnotizing looking picture. That's what I'm seeing. Like there's a spinning going on in him and it's actually kind of sad. So even without the, the, the political piece to this, 
it, he's getting manipulated by Jared Kushner and other Republican people. I'm telling you, they are playing his narcissism and playing his mental health issue. That is a sad feeling. Hold on a second. Could he really be a spoiler? Could he really be a spoiler? Could he really be a spoiler, Spirit? What do you want us to know about him being a spoiler? There. I don't. I still want to say I don't think he. Can, I don't think he can steal the election. Okay. I don't think the Kanye. Um, being on some of the ballots um, can steal the election for Trump. But it could be part of one of the other, you know, part of the other pieces that they're trying to do that could heavily affect, that, that could have some effect on it, okay? But could it steal it? He can't steal it alone. There's too many other things in play. But it's part of what they're trying to do that they're trying to get to stick, Right now, nothing's sticking. They keep trying and they keep trying and it's not sticking. Hold on a second. I think Kanye is going to end up in a breakdown territory. Like, getting, going into treatment territory. I know that they've, they've already been, I think Kim, his wife, Kim Kardashian already tried that. But I feel like he really might, um, in the next six weeks maybe. I, timing is not always my best thing. But I feel he, he's heading towards another kind of breakdown. Um, so let me, I'm having a hard time separating the Kanye, kind of the tragedy of the mental health piece and the political energy because it's so, I'm in his head and it's, it's really freaky. Hold on a second. It, so, so I guess what they want to say is it's, it's one of the pieces that they're trying to do. It could pull some, but I don't see it it being the cause of Trump winning the election. They're trying all kinds of things. They're going to, they're trying all kinds of things. Um, let me see what they're saying. But I keep hearing it's not going to be enough. I keep hearing it's not going to be enough. Um, hold on a second. Let me listen. He's not going to go down easy. All their... I get the feeling of it being like they're running in place or they're they're trying to make up for lost time and they can't quite get the the right um I think it's in the last reading I did they can't quite get what what can stick to pull this for him. Um I'm still sticking with I don't think he's going to win the election. That's the energies I'm still getting today, but he's going to try everything he can. And I, I'm also, I, I don't know if we're going to know on election day. I'm going to keep reading, checking in with that as we get closer and closer. But right now, um, I don't know because I know <laughs> if I, it wouldn't be the first time, right? 2000, we didn't, you know, we weren't sure who won. We could be facing another situation where it is not known for sure. Um, let me rephrase that. Maybe we will know, but he's going to contest it. And so it's going to get thrown into the court because I think, um, I think it's going to be a, I'm going to, I'm going to rephrase the way I'm saying this because I think it's going to be a parent who's going to win, but he's going to contest it. And it's going to get thrown in the court. So there's going to be the ambiguousness of that feeling. That we don't know who's the president on election day. Hold on a second. Don't worry though. They're saying, <laughs> they're feeling my fear. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know if I'm right about this, but if I'm hearing uh, one of my guides say, he has served his purpose. He's not meant to go forward in the same role. I'm taking that as his purpose as the um, um, shadow mirror for us. The shadow, the mirror of our shadow, okay? The un, 
destabilizer energy. Um, the, 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 the person who's uh, kind of taking the lid off of some really ugly stuff in our country that needs to be healed. Hold on. They're giving hope again. So they're sending me that hope energy that they send me. Um, and I think that, I don't think that, I think we have to keep, keep, keep in, keep in hope and keep in faith and keep in the knowledge that we are the ones co-creating this reality here. It's really up to us what we want to, how we want to learn the lessons that we need to learn. How much suffering do you want to go through? How much, um, shadow do you want to keep trying to shove down? Um, or do you want to look at it collective? <laughs> um, Americans, how much, um, pain do you want to continue feeling? It's on us, right? So I don't know, this kind of took off a little bit <laughs> in this reading, which they've been known to do for me or do with me. Let me see if there's something else they want to say about the Jared Kanye thing. Oh, uh, I'm going to say this this way. Jared is creating some really negative karma for himself in this particular situation. He's got some other things he's really done that he's got some stuff coming his way. But to mess with somebody who's having a mental health challenging crisis and to use them to try to maintain power for your other person who's got mental health challenges and physical health challenges so that you can stay in power. That is some karma coming your way that you are going to have to deal with in this life or somewhere down the line. That much I will say. So anyway, I hope this one made sense. It is 1230 at night. Um, and so blessings, everyone.